Hi there, this is Leo with RoofCalc.org and in this video I want to show you how to use our new roof rafter calculator. You can use this tool to estimate the length, cost and quantity of your roof rafters needed for your new construction or, or renovation project. So to estimate the rafters you will need to have your house footprint or ground dimensions. So Basically, you can measure the foundation side, and uh, for the purposes of estimating the actual length of the rafter, you will need the span of the roof, which is a gable side, uh, corner to corner. You will also need to know how long your overhangs will be, which is right here. This is from exterior wall to how far roof extends, and you will need to know roof pitch or roof slope. Now, if you don't know your roof slope or you know or you have roof slope in degrees, you can use our, our roof pitch calculator to get to it. You just click over here and go to roof pitch calculator. But we are calculating rafters right now, so let's take a look at the calculator itself. So all calculations are in imperial system, which means feet, feet and inches, which is uh, what we use in the US and Canada. So um, let's suppose that you measured your roof and uh, your how you measured your foundation size and it is 32 feet wide, which is the span, and 52 feet long. So you can also add inches. So let's say it's 32 feet and 6 inches, and the width is 52 feet and 9 inches. Also, let's say you want overhangs to be one foot and six inches. Now, uh, for our purposes, let's say that roof slope is eight over 12, and we will use standard rafter spacing, which is 16 inches on center. This allows you to use as little uh, plywood as possible without any waste. Now you can, of course, go to 12 inches on center, which will require more rafters. Or you can go to 20 inches on center for which we you will use fewer rafters, but you need to increase increase the board size. Now, all those things you actually need to consult your architect or structural engineer for, as well as the state building code, because the roof has to, to be up to code as far as snow load goes. So for our calculation, we'll use a standard uh, 2x10 rafter board size 16 inches on center so once you enter all this data into calculator all you do is press calculate and you have <clears throat> all your results here so first you have the actual rafter length this is the cut length so your rafter will be 21 in one foot and one inch and the quantity of rafters will be 82 so the the size of the board that you actually have to purchase is 2 by 10 by 24 feet long. Now, when you go over 20 feet long, you can no longer use pine boards because they're not available in any length over 20 feet. So the calculator automatically switches to LVL, which is laminated veneer board or engineered rafter. And here's the explanation what it is. And now LVL boards are priced per linear foot per board size. So for 2 by 10, the cost per foot is $5.23. Now, if we decrease the gable width or the span of the roof to, let's say, 26 and recalculate, the, now your rafter length is only 17 feet and 6 inches. So now you can use a standard pine board, which is 20 feet long, lumber, and the cost per board is now only $24 whereas it was $125 for an LVL. You can see over there. Let's switch back. So besides the actual cost per board, you get a total cost of all rafters. Now, these prices were taken from the Home Depot website for standard pine boards. And uh, if you go to a lumber yard, you will get a slightly higher price but supposedly better quality. Now, 
For that, you actually need to consult a professional builder to find out if Lumberyards Wood is better than Home Depot. I cannot tell you exactly because I'm not a builder, I am a roofer. Okay, so there you go. This is how you use a roof rafter calculator to estimate the length of each rafter, the quantity of rafters that you will need for your job, the wood size that you need to purchase to make each rafter, cost of each rafter, and total cost of the job. And this tool is super easy to use and it takes just a few seconds to enter the data. All right, thank you for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel for more great videos about roofing. Now, if you need to calculate the cost of roof replacement, just go to roofcalc.org, enter your roof details here, calculate, and you will get a low end, mid range, and a high end price. And you can also find your local roofing contractors by entering your zip code here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.